Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden and today we are going to work on a little necklace with pieces from our Jesse James Beads Magical Mystery Bead Box Yellowstone. So this one box had some really fun stuff in it and uh, let's turn down and I'll show you what I plan on working on. Okay, the first thing we really, really are interested in is this tiny little um, copper heart. And this is going to be our little focal, but because it's small, it is going to be, um, we're not going to put any big beads with it. It's going to be a rather delicate necklace, I think. We're also going to use this wonderful heart chain because, let's face it, we're doing hearts. Isn't this pretty? But this is only a foot long, so we need to... Um, supplement this with a few things and one of those things we're going to supplement it with is see this is only 12 inches yeah so we so I don't like a necklace shorter than 18 myself so we're going to need to make this a little bit longer so I've got some wire. This is what we're going to put our bead onto, and then we're going to put a few beads on either side. Now I have gotten out the findings kit so that we have some uh, a little extender chain. And so we'll probably only make this about 17 inches with the extender. That way people, if want it a little bit closer to the throat, unlike myself, can do so. So I've also got all these little beads from Yellowstone. We're going to need to break the chain and put in some little um, bead strands to lengthen this up. I will put a few beads with the heart, but I don't want it to be a lot. So we're just going to put a few. And then from Montana Sky, I think I'm going to get out these two small um, faceted blue beads. Aren't these pretty? So let's get those out first. And we'll start designing our little our little bead strands and such. Oop, let's not run away, little bead. We need you. So we're going to put these other beads back. And we'll get to these in next time. We also have some um, 20 gauge copper wire. This is what we're going to swing this on and a few of our other beads. And I have got out some spacers, two different types in copper, as well as, like I said, the beads from our Yellowstone mix. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet out of this, so I'm, we're just going to have to play it by ear. But because this is only 12 inches, we will need at least 5 inches of extra. So let's put our little chain up here for right now as long well as this is our extender and we'll have to, we'll get out our little heart here now i don't want to make a big long strand here just want something small and delicate so i'm thinking these blue beads to start with they look very pretty with the copper heart and then we'll get a few beads from here Maybe one of these these cubes. And now see, I think this is as long as I'm going to want to have my little beads, my little heart and bead strand. So we will probably stop right here with it and we're going to get some of our wire out. Now frankly I would rather use a heavier wire than this but um, like 18 but 20 is all I have in the copper and I do want to use the copper so we'll Trim this pointy end off this side, and we'll get about, oh, it looks like we want about this much, which is, let's see, 
Let's measure and find out how big that is. This is probably more than we need, but I always prefer getting more than not enough. So, oh, actually, I know it's more than we need. So this is about six inches. All we're gonna do is string our beads on here with some spacer beads. So we'll pour out some spacers. I think I'm gonna use these copper daisy spacers on this section. And then we'll put String our beads onto here. Isn't that going to be pretty? So we'll make a b little bow in this, like so. And we're going to do wire wrap loops on either side to hook it onto our chain. So, because I've already strung these, I'm going to put a bead stopper on this side. Yes, it will work with wire, not as well as, a, as it does with beading wire, but it still will work. So, we're going to... I'm going to use these and make a slightly bigger uh, loop than I normally do. And that's all right. That's because what I want to do. So now there's my loop. We'll take one end of my chain. Now you could also use um, jump rings to put this on if you want. I'm just going to directly wire it in. Come on, baby. This is a rather delicate chain, so I don't want to pull it too hard. So I may need to open my loop up just a little bit so that this can slip in easier. There we go. Now that I have that on, I'm going to take hold of this end here with my pliers, switch hands, and then take my other pliers and wrap a wrapped loop on this side. And I'm going to do four wraps and then I'm going to trim this other side off and tuck it in. Now that I've got this side finished, we're going to go over and do the same thing on the other side. And yes, we're going to put the um, chain in this side as well. So let's just do our bin, and then we'll get our pliers out. So put our pliers in, wrap it around bring her down, bring her around till we get the lollipop shape. Now we're just going to take the chain on the other end and just hook it right in. There we go. Now again we're going to grab it with our pliers. Bring it over here. Grab my other pliers and wrap that loop.
We'll cut this off right here. Oops, did I wrap too tight to get the scissors? There we go. Oop. My desk has gained some copper wire. Okay. So then we have our little loop piece done. And like I say, we're going to do a little bit of a bend here to make her be a little bit of a... There we go. I think that's good. Now what we're going to need to do is take this chain and find the middle and get it cut so that we can put our extender chain on later. But what we need to think of now is how big, as you can see, we only have six inches here. So that's 12. Though you've got to remember that this piece is going around your neck also, so you have added almost three inches. So we now have 15 total. But we want at least 70. So now we need to des design some more little bead strands. And I don't want to use anything really big in it. So let's get the bigger beads out of here. We don't want to be tempted to use the big ones since I don't want big. And even though these are really, really pretty, they are bigger than I want for our chain pieces. The daggers won't work, so we'll take those out. And the two holes don't work, so we take those out and put those in the bag too. And I'm not sure that I would want these either. There's another. Okay, now we have it broke down to what we're more likely to use. So we need to make a couple of little bead strands. So, I think we have two of these. Actually, we have four. So if we decide to make four little strands, we're fine if we use this as the middle piece. I'm thinking some little greens. If we have enough of these. I'm thinking we may not if we're going to do four strands. Looks like no, we don't have enough of those kind. However, Three, four, five, six, seven. Do we have one more of these little greens? Unfortunately, looks like a no to those also. So we may only be putting in two strands because we really only need a couple inches. So. Since we don't have these, we're not going to be using these. If we go with four, let's first divide these up and see what we have as far as size, um, how many per size. Looks like we don't have eight of anything. So we're either going to have to make our bead strands two different types 
or we have to just do two strands. And two strands might be enough, but let's make one set of strands and then we'll see after we put them in how long we are. So we'll start this first strand down here with the, you know what? If we're gonna put some green in, let's start with some green. Down here we'll put these two little green cubes. And then maybe one of these browns on either side. Then we could, or maybe one of the blue since it's a little bigger with the brown on the end. I think maybe we'll do that. So now these are going to have to be attached with jump rings because our little chain isn't going to open up for us. Well, no, it wouldn't. We could directly hardwire them in if we did it right as we put the bead strands in. But if we do that, we have to decide exactly how many strands we want and how far up we want them. For instance, do we want it just a few strands up, like right here? That actually might be best if we put it just right in here for our first one and then the second one up maybe up just a little bit more. Let's do that. So we'll need to get some wire out. We're going to need to split our chain and unfortunately because this chain I'm pretty sure is welded yes it is that means destroying one of our little hearts. Well, two, three, four, depending on how many I, bunches I do up. But first of all, we're going to decide exactly where we want this heart, to this to break. I'm thinking about right here, maybe. I don't want to go up very far because we like that pop of color down towards the bottom more. So I'm thinking here or here. Maybe this one. We'll go with this one. This is seven up. And then we're cutting the eighth. Okay. And we'll do the same on this side. this little bit of chain aside for right now and we're going to make our bead strands and hook those directly in. So let's get a little bit of wire. I'm only going to need a couple inches for this. Probably I like I will probably cut three or four because I like a little extra as opposed to not quite enough. So yeah I think three should be sufficient. So we'll cut that off. First thing we want to do is get that bend in there. And then we're going to wrap it up. But instead of using this one, I am going to go to my stepped, which has a slightly smaller one yet, and start our wrap here. And we're going to hook it onto the chain now before we add our beads. There we go. Snap it into place. Grab it with your pliers. And then wrap it. Oops, just knocked my bead strand all over the place.
tuck that little bit of wire in. And then straighten our loop up some. I noticed she went crooked on me. To do that, just put your pliers in the loop and give it a slight twist. See, it's straightened up quite a bit now. There we go. Now we'll put our beads on. Starting with this little copper one, then we'll put a spacer. Glue. Cube spacer blue and then the little copper colored one. Isn't that pretty? Now we'll just sit right inside the, those pretty heart chain links. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing. Wrap this baby up and put it into our chain. Wrap around here. In here. Just a hair so we can get our chain in. Since I haven't decided where I'm going to put the second link at, I'm going to do exactly like I did at the bottom and just add the both chains before I cut it. So there we have our first little beaded link inside of our necklace. So now we'll just cut another piece over here for the other side, bead it up, and put it in. Then comes the decision of whether we put in a second link or not. And I probably will because one just seems a little bit not quite enough. So let's get our wire cut. And I generally just eyeball my coat, my wire. Um, if you wish to measure it, by all means do so. So we'll get this bend. Over, wrap it around, bring it around, and now we need to put the chain in it. Come on, let go. With our pliers turn and wrap and I'm only doing two to three wraps on these because we don't want it to take up a lot of space so
straighten our wire up, and then we'll put our bead strand on. This is a little bit crooked, so that's better. Now, since I knocked my bead strand all over the place, I'm going to have to find all my bits and pieces. But that's all right. I know what I used. And there's the second bead strand finished, so let's wrap her up and get her on the chain. And this time, I obviously cut more chain, more wire than I really needed, but I'd rather have too much than not enough, so that's fine. Put our chain in on this side. pliers, switch hands, and wrap. I would generally rather grab too much wire as not as opposed to not enough. Um, so I'll tuck that in. we have our two links in it. Now we can measure it again and see how long we ended up getting. And we're now at almost seven and a half. You can't see, let's see, get that in there for you better. So we're almost at seven and a half, which means about 15. And then if we add this length, we're about, we're about at 18 right now, but I am still going to, I'm pr pretty sure, break it one more time and put one more strand, bead strand in it up here. So we can either cut it at seven to be consistent, or we can cut it at five and be just a little bit closer to this one, which would be about right here. Seven is going to be up here. You know, I think I'm going to keep with the seven. So let's cut our, our little hearts again. Three, four, five, six, seven. And that will be here on eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry if in my little redundant in my counting, um, my father was a carpenter and he always says, Measure twice, cut once, rather than measure once and cut twice. Okie dokie. Now we've got our second cut in place and we have this much of our strand left, which we could just right now cut this in half if we wished to, but I'm just going to keep going up the length here. Now we need to make our second bead strand. So obviously it's not going to be the same as the first. We don't have enough beads to make it it's the same as the first due to the fact that we only have two more of these little blue ones. We'd need four to do what we're, we were doing before. And we only appear to have three of these little brown ones here. 
So what I think we're going to do is use these brown ones for the middle part. And let's see, do we want to try these little interesting shape here and then the green on top here? interesting either way I'm definitely going to use these little tiny green ones the question is do we use these or do we use um, maybe these cubes which we'd use down below and that would pull that up Maybe we will do that. Now I like these beads, I like their shape, they're one of my favorite shapes, but I think I like the color break this with this better. So this is what we're going to go with for our top one. So we can actually put the rest of these beads away, we're not going to make any more bead breaks. So I'll do that so I don't knock them all over the place. Those are done with, and I'm going to need a few more spacers. Looks like six. Well, I don't need that many, but that's all right. We'll use them. So now we just need to do the new, new section of wire wrapping with these this little, this little strand, and we'll put it in here, and then we'll um, go on to finish our necklace with the findings kit that's here. So get your three or four inches of wire again. Straighten it up some. Do the bend. Get our pliers. Pull it around. Drop it down, bring her into the lollipop shape, making sure you leave a slight opening for your chain. Scoop up your chain, put it in, grab it with your pliers. I had the heart in there, we didn't want that. Grab this with the other plier and wrap this baby up some. Trim this a little bit off. Now I got this up a bit, and if you are concerned with that, personally I don't like them to be inconsistent like that, and tuck this wire in, you can take hold of the top of your wire wrap, put your pliers into the slot and push down, and that will even those up quite a bit. And there we go. So now we want to add our bead strand.
And now we have those put together. Now we just need to wrap these up like we just did the others. So over. Bring our pliers in place, bring them around, drop it, bring her over. Give it a little gap for the chain. Get our chain and slide her into place. Oop, don't drop. Now that I have that into place, I'm going to grab it with my pliers. And then with my other pliers, wrap this up. the excess come on chain get out of the way I don't want to cut that hard and tuck her in place Okay, now we have this side done. This is leaning a bit, so we're going to straighten it. There we go. Now we need our last little piece of wire we're going to need to put the other side on. So let's cut, cut one more piece and then we'll start wrapping. So here we go. And this will be our last piece of wire we should need. So we'll get our bend in. Now see, I've been cutting, I know I've been cutting more than I did the first bunch. I'm pretty sure this is four inches as opposed to the three. But you know, if, if you don't mind uh, losing some wire, go for the bigger size, then you know for sure you'll have enough. There she is. Isn't she pretty? Nice little necklace. A little heart chain with the little hearts. Now the last step is to break it up here and put in our clasps and such. So let's measure to see how we, much, how big we ended up being. We don't need our plastic bag from our chain anymore. And uh, see what we got here so if we go from the heart and pull it straight up we're at 18 right there so that's about perfect once we break it and put the findings on then the the of course the extender chain will make it um, bigger for the for anybody who wants a longer chain So we don't need our spacers anymore. So we'll put them back in the tube. And let's open up our findings pack here. little extender chain though it is the antique copper but that's all right we got a nice little lobster claw here now even if you wanted it sh if they want it shorter this lobster claw will fit in to um, the chain so let's find the middle of the chain up here so we can cut it 
And to do that, I'm just going to bring these together like this and then pull up till I get Where's my all. There we go. I think that this one is our extra our link here that we're going to cut. So let's get to cutting that. Okay, so that link's gone. And we're going to put on the lobster claw on one side and the extender chain on the other. Now, they did provide us with some jump rings. I'm not sure if these are locking jump rings or not. I think I will probably get out some of my own jump rings because I like a, um, an oval jump ring as opposed to a, um, as opposed to the little um, round jump rings. Um, unless they're locking jump rings, I don't really use round ones often. I use them more as a decoration. <laughs> so, a couple of uh, copper oval jump rings here, and we're just going to open those up. And on one side of the chain here, we're going to attach the extender. The other side will get the lobster. Now you just open uh, these jump rings just like you would any other. Take hold of one side, take put your pliers on the other side give a twisting motion so they open sideways like that. Put our little lobster claw on and bring her back together the same way. go all done so there is our little necklace right here she's all finished isn't that pretty I really like that that is such a pretty little necklace okay folks there is our finished necklace isn't that cute the little heart, Patricia Heaton copper heart at the bottom, the heart chain, and the little breaks with the uh, Yellowstone bead mix um, with that. Isn't those pretty? I really, really like this little necklace. I think it turned out really nicely. How long did it end up being? Well, I think it's exactly 18. So just about perfect for what I wanted. I really like it. I think it's it's really pretty. Anyway, this has been Rose from In Rose's Garden, and we have been using the Yellowstone Magical Mystery Box from Jesse James Beads. I hope you had fun with me with this, and we'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.